Um, hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Um, I wanted to talk to you today a little more about our decision to downsize. So about three years ago now we downsized from about 2600 square feet to my lower level is 762. So that's a big downsize and that required a lot of going through items, getting rid of items, um, making a lot of hard, hard decisions. Um, and I just kind of wanted to walk you through that process in case as an empty nester or otherwise you're thinking about something similar. Um, I think the most important thing if you start out on a journey to downsize is to know your why. There got to be reasons in your why life why this is important. Um, for me, the most important thing was financial freedom. We were tied to a pretty hefty mortgage in our other house and it limited our ability um, to live the kind of life we wanted. Um, I was very interested in, in doing mission trips but never could seem to save the money. It's hard to save money when you're living dollar to dollar to make that mortgage. So um, also my husband was, he's 10 years older than me and was nearing um, an early retirement age developing some orthopedic health problems and it was important to me for him to be able to, to reach those retirement goals early so to save some of that wear and tear on his body. So anyway, I think you have to decide what your reasons are. You need to write them down, whatever your method is of processing through big decisions because you're going to need to refer back to these often because you're going to have skeptics that come in that make you doubt your decisions. And certainly there's going to be hard times anytime you're making a big transition like this. And you need to be able to go back to those decisions and know in your heart why you're doing what you're doing. Um, also, um, as an empty nester, let's kind of talk about that a little bit. We weren't needing as much space. My girls are grown. Um, they're both still living at home. But... I know that in the near future they're going to be moving out into their own spaces. If you're if you have little children, perhaps this isn't the right time for you. So you have to think through all those kinds of decisions. Um, another big factor that you need to think about is cleaning. I spent so much time in my bigger house cleaning. I felt like I cleaned continuously, but never had the house completely clean at one time. How many people can relate to that? Um, I felt like I would get one area all clean and it would look nice just to turn around and see that the bedrooms were not good or it was time to clean the bathrooms again. And I spent hours every weekend trying to get the house cleaned and where I felt like it was presentable. And you know, it's not worth it. Um, so cleaning is something to really consider, especially if you're an empty nester. Um, why do you want to spend hours cleaning a house that nobody's really going to see? I don't know. I decided it wasn't worth it for me. There's so many more ways I want to spend my time. Um, another important decision for us was location. We had inherited the land we're on um, or purchased the land um, after uh, my husband's grandmother passed away. And it's a location that is a little more isolated. Um, we have a beautiful water feature, waterfall, creek. And so the, lo so the location was really important to us. Um, you have to decide if this change in your priorities is something you're willing to do because it's not always going to be easy going forward after you make this, this decision. Um, a few things that you probably need to consider and things that were brought up to us as we were making this decision. But you're leaving the home where your children were raised because my girls were raised in our other house. Emma, we moved there when she was just a baby, uh, one year old actually. Um, so. That's hard, but I want to remind you of something really important. Home is not the structure. Home is where your people are. My people are still with me, and it's been a fine transition. And I know that the girls probably miss aspects of the house, but in reality, I think they would both agree at this time that this was probably the best decision we could have made for our family. And we've built so many wonderful memories in our new home and our new land. Um, that you just have to remember that you can't get sidetracked by the, the structure and the material things. Um, also, you've got to understand that you're going to have to get rid of your stuff. <laughs> I was a huge collector. I had tons and tons of glassware and antiques and things like that that were not going to fit into my new home. 
and honestly at first I was scared I thought I'm not gonna be able to get rid of these things I have attachment to these things that I've collected guess what you really don't it's not bad I was sold things I sold things on marketplace on Facebook we had a yard sale or moving sale and it really wasn't that big of a deal not as much as you might think so and the fun thing is is now that I'm in my new home and see the space I do have to decorate I'm getting to go and repurchase and maybe update my style a little bit because I don't know about you but over the years of my marriage I can see how my style has changed and it's given me the opportunity to kind of update that to what I'm into now so don't be afraid of getting rid of your stuff because it's really not that bad you have to hold on to the things that really mean something and be willing to let go of the things that don't um, also um, when you're starting to downsize you have to understand scale and this is part of the decorating process too so like we had a large open living room in our other house and the scale of the furniture we had there did not fit into our new home so you have to kind of consider all of those things as well so don't hold on to big pieces of furniture um, again that's just a fun part of getting the new home is getting to do that shopping and um, that's another video we'll talk about later but you you get to go and pick out the pick out new things that actually fit into your space um, you have to consider what you actually use the rooms for so like we had this huge master bedroom I never had that room fully furnished the whole time we lived there for 20 something years because it was large I never could figure out what pieces fit in there what do you do in a bedroom you sleep in there um, you don't need a huge master bedroom with couches and because you don't spend any time in there so you have to be real with yourself what is this room really for and you have to furnish it accordingly um, I have a super small bedroom in our in our new house and it doesn't matter I mean we, it fits the purpose of what it's for so I think sometimes we hold on to the ideas the magazines what other people's homes look like and we think that that's really important when in reality it's not especially if you're if you're thinking about a decision like this all right so you're gonna go through lots of people saying how in the world can you stand living in such a small space with your family well I like my family so maybe before you decide to downsize you need to um, just make sure that that's true for you because you're not missing out on anything because your house is small we're still making tons of memories in fact we have a lot more money for vacations and travel and doing things together that we would have not been able to afford when we had the mortgage so don't be afraid of you know what people are gonna say about that because people are gonna make comments um, you just have to be ready and accept that that's how it is um, also knowing like we've already talked about that a smaller land has been much easier for my husband to maintain he enjoys lots of hobbies like fishing but never had the time for that before um, when you have a large amount of land to maintain it takes all of your time and here he can have the yard mode in about an hour or so and he has time left to do the things that he enjoys you just have to you have to think about all of those kinds of decisions if you have considered a downsize what is it going to mean for you time wise um, so as we were making this decision I certainly had to come to terms with how this was going to fit into my lifestyle and we decided that this suits us much better um, as we're moving forward um, looking you know toward grandchildren and son-in-laws our space is small but I have plans to accommodate all of that one big thing about living smaller is is taking advantage of your outdoor space now we're very blessed here we have a waterfall we have a creek um, and those things are important to me that's what we enjoy um, and we are going to use those areas um, and develop outdoor kitchen and have spaces that we create outdoors that are more wide open so that we do have grandchildren and Thanksgiving with larger family we will have an area that to accommodate all of that so you know you have to kind of have a plan for those things but understand that your outdoor living space can really extend um, the amount of square footage you have to live in okay so just to recap if you have even considered downsizing the number one thing you've got to do is know your why you need to make that list you need to get your reasons 
like in stone, right, written down so that you can refer back to them at the times when even you're having doubts about your decision. And then number two, you've got to understand that you've got to get rid of some stuff. You can't fit a full size 2,600 square foot house into 760 square feet. So things have got to go. Um, and you just have to develop a process for doing that. And then finally, you've got to understand that a smaller house does not mean a smaller life. I feel like that in the last three years, our life has been so rich. I've had the opportunity to go on a mission trip overseas. And then we've had uh, lots of fun memories that we've created as a family on our new land. So the size of your house is not what makes your life full. It's the size of the size of the relationships in your life and the time you have to spend with them. And hey, if you're not working to meet that mortgage every month, you have a little more time to spend with them. So don't hesitate to downsize, but just, you know, make sure that you understand and know why you're doing it. Um, so we're going to try to upload a video here every um, week. I'm going to do a series right now about the downsize and hopefully give you a house tour coming up soon. So be sure and hit that subscribe button so that you can follow along with us and learn how to live your life simply in order to thrive.